everybody, you're looking at a tired but very happy man. We just mastered the Dragon Commander and it is now live, which means that you can all go and play it and hopefully have a lot of fun. Of course, we are on the Kickstarter page of Divinity Original Sin, so you're all wondering what the hell is going on with Original Sin. These guys at Larian, they're not talking about it at all anymore. Well, the reason is we're a fairly small team, so we had to uh, focus all of our communication abilities on promoting Dragon Commander. But now that that's out of the way, we'll start talking about Original Sin again. So today we'll have the first update, and that update is going to be about a place which has turned out to be a lot bigger than we ever expected it to be, and that is the lair of the Shrike beneath Phantom Forest. We're going to show you what it looks like when a very, 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 very large dungeon gets created and gets filled with content and quests. Now, mind you, this is still work in the construction, so you're not going to see final lighting and final effects, etc., etc., etc. You're just going to see pure level editing filled already with quite a lot of scripting. As a matter of fact, I actually think this area is done, except for all of the polish. So, enjoy the quick run-through of the lair beneath Phantom Forest. We try not to put any spoilers in there, we just wanted to give you an idea of the scope of the thing and uh, that all those Facebook likes were worth it. Ah, it wasn't Facebook likes, it was the Thousand Thing thing. You know, every Thousand Thing we added a level to it, yeah, okay. Anyway, have fun. Cheers. <laughs> What is this, Axel? Uh, this is the first level of the lair beneath the Phantom Forest. Uh, this is a tunnel where a character called the Engineer used to live. So who is that, the Engineer? The Engineer is a, a scientist which, uh, as you can see, had his own study and laboratory in this cave and he came up with all sorts of uh, machines and contraptions. He was very ahead of his time. Is this guy linked to the engineer from uh, the first divinity? Uh, there might be a link, or there might not be a link, but we won't tell you anything but about that yet. It's not the same guy. It's not the same guy for yeah. sure. And um, it, it looks fairly barren, actually. I mean, it doesn't look like uh, graphically terribly innovative what I'm looking at here. No, no, no. But this is all placeholder, and uh, it is not at all the final uh, artwork. No, for sure. Uh, there's no lighting. There, is, the decoration is 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 just. Okay. To give a general idea of the... Yeah, yeah for sure All it right. will look better. So, I mean, okay, I see we're in a cave, and I guess the cave is beneath the forest, and this is the first level? Yeah, this is the first level. So you will yeah. enter in a tunnel, and you will soon uh, discover that uh, it used to be inhabited, but uh, the characters will figure out what happened. So what is it? Is it always tunnel, 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 and cave? Is that, is that it? No, 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 no. That, so that's the first part, and even in the first level, there will be different areas that, that are uh, visually different, mm -hmm. but each each level of the of the of the dungeon will be completely different and have its own story and background. Uh, so there will be a lot of variety also in the gameplay as well. So yeah. don't worry. Uh, you, you're not allowed to give any spoilers, eh? but can no. you like give a non-spoiler, which is spoilerish, not something <laughs> like that? Um, well, you. The, the, what, what I can say is that there will be uh, several plot twists, and uh, what you expect to be only an optional uh, dungeon might actually turn out to be more important and actually maybe tied to the main story as well. So there, there, okay, there right. will be uh, there will be quite a few surprises. So the Kickstarter guys made a difference to the entire main storyline this way. Yeah, pretty much. Well, obviously it goes to good. I mean, it goes without saying that if you add ten dungeons to a game, that you have to do something with them more meaty than just uh, add them. Oh look, what is that? Uh, that's a secret passage. So it's secret. Don't show. Don't, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm seeing caves, caves, caves. Do you, don't we have anything else but caves? Oh, we do. All right, show me something else in caves. Wait. Don't feel me. Oh, that's also more caves. Caves with water. <laughs> we have caves with lava. Ah, no, Catacombs. Uh, okay, I mean, in being unfair, of course, because you're looking at this from the editor, mm -hmm. top-down view. I'm seeing all this uh, little guys standing everywhere. Can you explain to uh, the people watching this video what exactly they are? Uh, you don't have a very nice name for them, I think. Uh, well, they are called the dummies. They're basically like post-it notes that anyone can place in a level. And we use those to, to give instructions to the other designers or artists and basically tell them, okay, on this spot we need to add more decoration or the dialogue of this guy needs to change and things like that. So what does this guy uh, have to say for himself? 
the competitors' dialogues should update with every event. So after the trial, after okay, oh, right, spoiler, right. spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Right, never mind. <laughs> I, so there's going to be a trial. All right. Okay. Well, you can see that there's going to be a dungeon beneath the Phantom Forest, filled with puzzles, filled with dense quests, and hopefully uh, you guys will have a lot of fun with you with it, because it's one of the things that would have been possible uh, without the Kickstarter. All right. Of the military, if there's something you don't want to neglect, it's the bids and requests of your generals. Their influence on the battlefield is not to be taken lightly. Have a sherry to calm those nerves. In the Queen's quarters, decorated...